Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for the 6th through the 12th or whenever this resonates with you. Now typically my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. Now keep in mind that if this reading feels like it's yours, it's yours. If it feels like it's not, it's not. Okay? This is for the sign of Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Ain't that the truth? Love yourself and everything else will fall into place. And take your time. Take your time, okay? Maybe you need to slow down a little bit. As I was shuffling, I felt like I, ha I heard somebody say, would you just hurry up and shuffle? Would you just hurry up and lay out the cards? Would you just hurry up? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. No. Slow down, slow down, slow down. The best things... What's that word? Um, come to those who wait. Right? There's been some suffering. There's been some heartache. But you guys are handling it pretty well. I see that there's a lot of uh, abundance here within you. You know, there is. There's a lot of inner beauty. There's a lot of compassion. I feel like you guys have a, have a really big purpose in life at this time, period. You guys are leaders. You have a lot of wisdom. You know, you may be holding on to some sort, some sort of obsession that doesn't serve you, and you need to find the strength to let it go. There's some kind you're suffering from something, and you need to find the strength to let it go, to restrain yourself from holding on to it, whatever it is. You need to be logical. I feel like there's some anger, there's some resentment here. You may be taking and being taken advantage of. You may be acting naive because of your compassion, your heart. You know, you're looking for the good in another situation and maybe you're ignoring the real truth because of your compassion. You, you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart and maybe you're choosing not to see that. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like there is, there is something going on behind the scenes that you may be ignoring. Okay, you may be ignoring it. You may be, you know. I see that you're seeing a situation clearly. You know what's going on. You have a lot of wisdom, but you may be trying to. Handle it in the most diplomatic, positive way that you can. But <laughs> there's always a but, isn't there? But it may not be the right way to handle it. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, sometimes tough love is what works. Okay, so I'm not sure what this situation is, but I feel like you're, you are probably, you have a really strong purpose this week, and you're going to be called to, to use your wisdom To make some sort of decision to give something up. Seriously, to give up the fight or give up holding on to something. What is this? There's a lack of a forward movement. There's a lack of...
whatever it is you need from happening, and it's because you're you're not allowing it. And it's almost like you're only wanting at this point to see the good. You know what I mean? And sometimes that doesn't work out. Something is delayed, stalled, halted because you have a decision to make. And it may bring, whatever decision this is, it may be bring some conflicts into your life. But there's some kind of revelation or truth or secret that is coming out. That is the, that needs to come out so that you can evolve as you should. Whatever the hell this means, but I'm gonna zoom this in, and then we're gonna get some clarifiers. Um, love yourself first. That's a pretty strong message. You know, you're not. You need to do what's right for you in whatever situation this is. And I feel like you guys are are trying to almost cover up. It's like cover up I don't know let's see yeah there's unhappiness there's there's sadness here ill health maybe even okay there could be some ill health because somebody is acting recklessly this is reckless behavior you know the opportunities are endless. They really are. If you love yourself first, it's, it's great that these are right next to each other. If you love yourself first, the opportunities are endless, but you need to find the strength to step, step out of some negative situation, a reckless behavior or a situation that you are, some kind of obsession. You need to find the strength to step out of it. Stop pretending that everything is okay. Everything is not okay with the moon card, upright or reversed. You have to take control. You have to be the boss. You have to love yourself first. That's what this is. It's clear. You need to be logical. Something needs to end. You need to, you need to free yourself. You need to liberate yourself from some the middle card, obsession. Live, free yourself from it. Remove it from your life, whether it's an addiction, a job, a partner, whatever it is. You need to free yourself from something that is holding you back from vibrating at the highest possible level. There's going to be a break, breakdown. There's going to be a rude awakening if you don't. There's going to be anyway. Because the universe sees the struggle. They see that the struggle is real. They do. They do. And they also see what you're worth. Even though you might forget what you're worth, the universe knows what you're worth. Sagittarius. So there's going to be a rude awakening. Something is, some event is going to happen that is going to force you to move forward because you haven't. You need to free yourself in which you've been procrastinating from freeing yourself from something. You have to see th something from a new perspective, whether you like it or not. And it, and it might hurt, but it's, it, it needs to happen, okay? It's, it's something that is very harsh. It could be harsh. But... It will allow you to, if you, if you, well, this rude awakening, is, it's a blessing in disguise, is going to allow you to assert yourself in a much better way. Right now, you're missing opportunities. Or you're not seeing opportunities because you don't even, like I said, I don't think you know what you're worth. I don't, I don't. I think some of you are clinging to the past. You're, you're holding on to some sort of old way that is no longer serving you. There's no more forward movement there. You have, something needs to happen drastically. 
there's going to be a drastic situation that changes your life. That's what I see. Because you need to see something from a new perspective. You need to be logical. And you need to be the boss of your own life. You need to take the lead. You need to bring back structure. And in order to bring back structure, you need to, something needs to be removed. It does. It's causing ill health. Something is causing ill health. Maybe it's drinking. I don't know. A lot of you, I mean, I'm sure I'll get a comment. I don't drink. Well, then this reading is not for you. And it may not be drinking. There's some sort of addiction or obsession here. Could be money. Could be food. Could be anything. Could be gambling. Could be the casino. Could be a codependency. Whatever it is. Somebody's holding on to something that doesn't serve them and it's making them sick. But it's what they know. And you have to be logical here. You need to make a solid decision. And you need to put yourself first at this time. The universe is here to help. And when this universal event or awakening or whatever the hell it is, breakdown comes in, don't fight it. They're bringing you what you need. This is the sword of clarity, the sword of truth. They're trying to clear away what no longer serves you. So please allow it. Do not fight it. If you fight it, it will make it worse. There is a, an opportunity that is being given to you from above that is going to bring you more clarity than you've had in a long time. It's going to clear something away. Something is going to be cleared away that is making you, making, bringing you down and making you ill. It's time to see the light and come out of this dark period that you've been in, whatever this is. To deal with those insecurities that are buried deep down inside. It's time to move on to peace and harmony and let the troubled waters fade away. It's time to find peace and harmony within your soul. Everything happens for a reason and you are a person that is on this earth for a purpose. You are. You have a lot to offer. Something is holding you back and it has to go. You need to be responsible, practical, and devoted to improvement. It's time to accept the truth and make that difficult decision. You can't block it forever. The universe is going to take those swords down for you. If not now, in the near future. This mental turmoil that you've been holding on to and trying to escape from and mask and pretend that everything's okay, it's going to be cleared it is. The truth is coming out. And it might hurt. Because you know, somebody has procrastinated and stalled too long. And closure is needed. It's time to complete that phase in your life and begin a new one. It's time to let go of the worry, the guilt, the depression, the anxiety. It's time to let go of it. It is letting go of everything that has caused this negativity, the mental turmoil, the, the stress in your life. The universe wants this stress gone from your life. And that's why the tower is here. And if you're not going to take a move, they're going to help you. If you're not going to make a move. The universe is going to help you. Because you're not doing nothing about it. And if you're not doing about nothing about it, don't think that the universe isn't working behind the scenes. Don't think that they don't see what's going on. You may be able to hide it from everybody else or not. Because other people can see this too. I can see that they do. You may be able to hide it. 
But you can't hide it from the universe, okay? You cannot. You can't. They want this chapter that is causing you so much depression, anxiety, resentment over. So you can be your true self. That's what they want. Now this is for man or woman. You came to this universe for a purpose. And it's about time you get back to that purpose. We're going to get you one of these. You know, this could have gone all the way back to your childhood. Abandonment issues. There could have been a father that abandoned you. That had Now you have tried to mask the pain. Or a mother. A father or a mother that has abandoned you. And you've tried to bury the pain. With addictions. Obsessions. Whatever. I think this does go back to you. I'm getting the goosebumps. I don't know if you can see them. It's coming right off of my body. This is a yes. Somebody has been abandoned and, and trying to cover it up with something. Now it needs to be dealt with. You have to deal with those abandonment issues. You can't bury them forever. Eventually, it's, it shit explodes, okay? going to be some sort of explosion. Oh my goodness, that's a good one, huh? The word wants to be written. <laughs> okay. You might have been taught that creativity is something you have to work hard to assess or that finding your life purpose is so difficult that you must search high and low for it. Yet what you are is within you and wants to come out at every available opportunity. I'm going to read that part again. Yet what you are is within you and wants to come out at every opportunity. You don't have to struggle so much. It's more about allowing space for it to manifest and let the energy flow. Remember at the beginning I said slow down? The real struggle is not finding something. It's more about letting go of the idea that you need to search for your path in the first place. You see, the process of activating your life path is a natural one. The effort is in getting out of the way, not in making something happen. As for being yourself, that is the foundation from which your true life path will reveal itself. Being yourself becomes easier when you give yourself permission to love, honor, and accept yourself in all circumstances. And I was going to say accept. Even if you've been abandoned, accept it. Even if it hurts, don't let it hold you back. Okay, I'm going to start this one over. Being yourself becomes easier when you give yourself permission to love, honor, and accept yourself in all circumstances, especially the ones where you might be tempted to reject or judge. This oracle brings you a message that what you are dreaming of or seeking to do, create, live, or manifest is actually very natural for you. That's why you want to do it. If you experienced controlling and manipulative forces as you were growing up, so it could go that way as well, something from your childhood, you would have found it hard to assess your natural state at the time. You would have been so busy trying to adapt and get through the child's trials of childhood. Childhood is affecting you now. When you finished navigating childhood and started to let go of who you were taught to be in order to become who you really are, you may have found your life path was not easily accessible. That is simply because your true and natural self was covered by layers of shame from the early conditioning that had you be other than you are in order to win love or be acceptable. Oh, this is your card. However, that natural self hasn't gone anywhere. It is still there within you. 
it truly is. Not now, it is just about chipping away at the walls of shame, perhaps with a defiant, who the hell cares? I am here. I'm going to love myself anyway. Son of a bitch. It says that. This allows you to risk bearing the feeling of any shame that arises as you release old emotional wounds and break away from any restraints to unconditional self-love. So this, you know, it's time to break those chains. And the universe is here to help you, so be prepared for it. Be prepared for a rude awakening that changes your life for the better, whether it's this week, next week, or any time in August, or it's happening now. You're here for a purpose, Sagittarius. Don't forget who you are. Talk to you next time.